we normally start small, but it's not always advisable to stay small. Start small, but then have big aspirations to grow big. Even in farming, today we have a farmer who is into maize production. Began small, but is today one of the biggest producers of maize in eastern Uganda. Let's look at his story. Uh, growing maize is one of the best business. Uh, once you put um, passion on it that uh, you want to make money, it's one of the best than uh, other activities in, in, in agriculture. To produce the best quality of maize, you have to prepare the land to be clean. Uh, first plowing, and then you leave it for some period of time, and then you replow. The selection of seeds, it also matters because we have uh, uh, different types of seeds which resist the drought. This year we planted the uh, what we call fourteen six. This fourteen six is quite good in terms of resisting the drought. And the only disadvantage is it gives only one cob, but it can resist the drought. Then the other one, which gives like two, even three cobs on one stem, but uh, doesn't resist uh, the drought. It's only good when you have actually moderate rain. That's when you you can really su succeed in that type of seeds. It gives a maximum of 20, 25 to 30 per acre bags of 100 kilograms. This type of seeds. And then the other, which gives around 40, but it's not resistant to drought. It's uh, quite good when uh, we have. But for this one, it gives around 24 bags or so 25 to 30. So uh, you can now multiply because we, the harvest. It's not so bad this year, uh, so we can multiply from 25 uh, with the number of acres we have uh, we planted this year. This type of seeds takes actually uh, three months. It's already mature, and you are ready to harvest. To harvest, you have to monitor coming it uh, because when you look at these uh, crops, you must maintain them. Green. And then there are these worms which comes and then starts eating maize. If you don't treat it or spray when it is still green, it will affect you literally go and then start eating the real maize. In that uh, you will find that maize will be a poor quality. So you must be monitoring in order to bring good quality and actually quantity. We are among those who produce the best quality of maize in East Africa. And uh, doing this, we do not go for this uh, chemical fertilizer much. We first use um, this organic fertilizer, which you use it actually during dry season. You mix up with the soil, you plow, and then when you do that, you really produce. First, the, the maize will even taste when you are eating, it will taste very good. and. Uh, uh, it is actually heavy in terms of weighing. When we talk about um, markets, sometimes when we overproduce, uh, the price goes as low as below 500, which really affects the farmers and we find that we cannot even uh, get what we have put in the market. Well, we used to sell Kenyan, uh, it's the biggest buyer for maize, but uh, this year, actually I haven't seen any, that uh, most is uh, our fellow Ugandans who are buying. First we started with 20 acres, but now we got 300. We have employed so far almost 100 people. COVID, uh, in fact, it has increased the production this year for us uh, because uh, we had the limited movement of going out. So all that time we concentrated now in the farm. We saw what is required. What needs to be added. Well, it's been a tough run, conditioned by COVID-19 and of course the associated SOPs and the impact these have had on businesses. Many people have lost jobs. Now, on this show, we don't tire to give you advice on what you can do, other than of course your 8 to 5 job, in order to survive. And as you wait, of course, for your next big job, if you're still wired in that direction. And we're doing this by sharing actual experiences of entrepreneurs that are doing it. After graduating, I had to stand on my feet and do something. 
So I started an online store where I was selling clothes. I used to get pictures from wholesalers, put on my page, on my Instagram page, which was Kunda Collections, put on my page, people ordering. So when they order, I go downtown, buy, purchase the clothes, sell it. If I got it at 40,000, I would sell it at 60,000, get a little profit of 20,000. That's how small I started. During online selling, the first customers were the people who were close to me, obviously my friends from campus. After some time, I decided to get a location. Getting a location, that means I'm going to start a business. Uh, starting a business, yeah, I was scared and all, but I started with a few that I had. After paying three months of rent, I got my capital, which was one million. I started with my second-hand clothes. Second-hand clothes are not the same price with the first-class clothes. First-class clothes are slightly expensive to second-hand clothes. So where was my potential? Where was my money? My money could talk for me. So I decided to start small. My shop was half full. You understand when a person has just started. But I continued. Some of the principles that have helped me to keep in business are honesty. You have to be very honest with your customers. Your customer, you don't have to lie to your customer that I have a UK quality of a cloth, but you have China. You have to be very honest, tell them, because me, as you see, most of my clothes are from UK. I do research according to the new trends. When you are new to business, you have to learn record keeping. Record keeping is a must. I didn't know these things. No one like guided me very well, but I had to do it. But now, where I am, I can gladly say I've improved. So if you're there, my age mate, you have a business in mind. Start online if you don't have capital. Start online, advertise yourself, let people know you, let people get to trust you, then you can start from there. Now earlier on we talked about the digital services provision as one of the big opportunities that the world presents today. And especially COVID has highlighted the importance of us actually going digital. Now there's money to be made in this particular space. And indeed young men in Uganda are not sitting. They're doing a thing or two about it like this young man. Twala Co Services Company Limited is a four-wheel ride hailing company that has mobile applications which, you, which are used to link drivers to passengers. Established in 2019, uh, it has been able to ride all to bring its way up all the way from developing the mobile applications, one being for the drivers, another being for the customers or the passengers. And uh, at this point, we have a fully fledged driver app, like application and customer application, both already on uh, Google Play Store for the Android users. At this point, uh, the app is open and the driver is ready to turn on his availability. So by just simply switching on this button on the top, right corner is able to get options whether to set a shared ride which is our our unique value proposition or the typical model which is the private trip so if he is to search for a private trip for example he should be able to be seen by any customer customers within the vicinity so just as you can see this is the customer app also available on google play store it will be showing the customer the available drivers within the same vicinity so if you decided to uh, put a pickup and drop off location, automatically it will capture your current location and then you simply insert a destination. So take for example, this is, this is it. So what we have so far built is the ability for a customer to see the, the price the trip pricing for the application. For the customer, is able to actually change between the, the type of the ride, between the shared ride and the private ride. So if I selected shared, shared ride right now, the driver should also be in the shared model to be able to get to capture this, this, this customer. So when I switch to private and then I confirm, I should be able to get the driver within the vicinity. So in this instance, uh, the driver has been found and it will be, the, the, the app will be able to show the driver available, the number plate, the type of vehicle, and 
the driver will be able to receive a notification that he has a pending trip request. So on the driver app, he is able to accept or reject the request. Meanwhile, he has called the customer and has been able to uh, share his pickup details. So uh, I'll start the journey. So let's say that the trip has now started. The customer is able to see uh, that the trip is ongoing. Even still, if the driver does not have the accurate uh, routes to where the customer will be going, he's able to use his navigator and this will be able to capture his current location and request for directions and simply start his ride. Okay. So once they get to their destination, uh, the, custom, the driver is able to, to finish or end the trip and when the trip has ended, it will provide uh, the trip details. These can also be found in the, in the other section of the application which provides a more detailed receipt for the trip. So that is the, the private model. So for the case of the shared model, the driver is required to set the shared ride. Head southeast on Pool Road. And then, uh, as we said, for the case of the shared model, the driver is meant to set his origin where he is and set a destination that he intends to be or to go. So let's say, for example, we are, he is going to Case Hospital, Buganda Road. And then he is able to set other origins or pick up points in between from where he is to Case Hospital. So let's say, for example, he is going to stop around uh, Wanda Gear Police Station. Okay, then he can set routes. So he is not limited to only one origin of pickup. He is able to also set as many as he can. So if he's going like from Wandegia to Mukono, he's able to put up to 10 or more pickup points. These pickup points also help him to get more accuracy when it comes to uh, receiving these trip requests. So for the case of the customer, he will be able to, he will be able to also set his trip, but in shared model provided he is also going to the same direction, he shall be able to capture the, 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 the driver moving to that same area. Thank you for being part of the show today. We'd like to keep the discussion going. So keep those questions, those comments, and feedback coming on the online platforms that are shared on your screen. We'd like to keep the discussion of business going because business never sleeps. I've been your host, Charles Boji. Now, from me and team, we'd like to wish you a very good evening. Good evening and God bless.